Hi my friends, welcome to a demo on market basket analysis, which is one of the most important analytics used by many retailers. It has got various applications such as cross-selling opportunities, pricing strategies, as well as product recommendation. In this video, I'll go through the concepts of market basket analysis as well as show you a demo. In the demo, we will produce some very stunning visuals such as affinity analysis and heat maps. The demo is available on my platform experiencedinasense.com and you can also configure it to your own data. You do not require any coding skills and it will be very exciting. So my friends, let us get started. The data in the demo is from a retailer and the data looks something like this. It has got invoice ID, the customer ID, as well as the product code, description and other details such as quantity and price. One of the main advantages of market basket analysis is that it requires just the invoice data. You do not require lots and lots of other retail data. The most common algorithm which is used by market basket analysis is called the affinity analysis or the a priori algorithm. The algorithm considers each invoice as a basket and hence the name market basket analysis. Now this algorithm tries to determine the most commonly occurring items which are bought together and this is represented as support. So for example for Two given items such as Christmas tree and Christmas stars, if out of 100 invoices, if both Christmas tree and Christmas stars appear in 40 transactions or 40 invoices, then the support for Christmas tree and Christmas star would be 40 divided by 100, which is 0.4. In addition, it also calculates two other key figures such as the confidence and the lift which also gives an indication on how reliable is the support. Now here is the result of affinity analysis on the retail data. Each dot over here represents a product and the products which are clustered together means that they have a strong affinity towards each other. Now let us inspect the cluster which is shown over here. So this cluster shows the affinity between different metal signs. So it would be very useful to recommend or upsell different metal signs when a customer buys a one particular metal sign. Now this is also similar to the logic of Amazon which proposes customers also bought recommendation. And it is estimated that Amazon makes about 30% of their revenue by this also bought recommendation so the tool affinity analysis, what you are looking at is a very powerful tool if you want to increase your revenues. Now let us inspect some other product affinities. For example, here we have the Christmas tree and we have the Christmas star. And both of them, they are showing a very strong affinity and which means that if people are going to buy a Christmas tree, they would also buy a Christmas star together. The visualization which you see here is based on the support. However, let us also inspect other indicators such as the confidence, which in fact will give us on how confident we should feel about the support. And here is a heat map of different products which have shown an affinity. However, the color of the heat map is based on the confidence of the affinity. The confidence values are between zero and one. And here I have filtered the top 50 products which also exhibit a high confidence in the support. So for example, here we see that Christmas tree and Christmas heart have a confidence of one, which means that we can be very confident about the affinity which was shown in the earlier visualization. Now let me show you the demo on my platform experiencedatascience.com. And if you want, you can also configure the demo to your own data. Let me first start by going to the experience market basket analysis. And here I have already set up the data set, uh, which is our data set on online retail. You can also hover over the tip button, which will also tell you on what to do at each step. And if you want, you can also add your own data using the add button. 
But for the moment, I will go ahead and select this online retail data and let me copy it and make it ready to use. So the data set is now set up and let me now select it and click on analytics. And here you see that we have three tabs, the data display tab, the affinity analysis and the heat map. And let me first start with the data display tab and we can try to select a few records to show. Let us also select all the columns and let me now execute this. So in a while, I will see the results. And as you can see that the data has got the invoice details. It has got the customer ID, the product ID, the quantity and the price. Now let me go ahead and do the affinity analysis for this data. So the first thing which we have to do is to select on how we would like to group all the invoices. So here we will select invoice so that our basket in the market basket analysis corresponds to an invoice. Now the next configuration is the sorting criteria. Uh, but in the market basket analysis or the affinity analysis, the sorting doesn't really matter. But just for the purpose of setting it, we can set it to the invoice date. And now comes the most important setting, which is on what we want to do the affinity analysis. Now here we have different options such as the stock ID or the description, but because in the visual we would like to have the product description, let us go ahead and set it to the description. Let me also set the minimum item as 10 and this would mean that the affinity analysis would only consider those invoices which have 10 or more items purchased. Now the next important configuration is the minimum support and here we can enter any value between 0 and 1 and if you enter a low value which means that more products will be considered for the affinity analysis and if you enter a very high value very less number of products would be considered. Now this particular retail data has got more than 30,000 products and all the products are very generic such as modern metal science or Christmas stars. So in this case it makes sense to enter a low support so that we have a larger number of products which are considered. And let me go ahead and enter 0.02 which means that in all the invoices if the combination of two products occurs at least 2% of the times, then we should consider it for affinity analysis. Now we would like to also save the output because we can reuse it for further heat map analysis. Now let me run this affinity analysis and let's see what magical output it produces. So now we get the visual which I had shown you earlier and it is really looking awesome. And if you want, you can also toggle between dark mode and light mode. So my friends, if you are enjoying the video till now, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the like button as well as make some comments. And let us now switch over to heat map analysis to see on how confident can we about the affinity analysis which is shown. But before I execute the heat map, I will change the data set so that we use the data which was generated by the affinity analysis. And this data set, which is output of affinity analysis is shown over here. So let me go ahead and select it. And then now let us go to the heat map. So the X axis of the heat map, let me set it as the first item. And on the Y axis of the heat map, let me set it at the second item. And I will choose the color of the heat map as the confidence. And let us average all different confidence between two items. And let us now execute it. So in a while, you will get the heat map. It also looks visually stunning, but there is a lot of things crammed into it. So I will go ahead and select the top 50 items and you'll get this heat map visual which I've shown you earlier. 
So my friends, that concludes the demo on market basket analysis. As you have seen that it is a very useful tool for any retail data as it generates very stunning visuals as well as it gives very useful information which can be used for for directions such as product recommendations or upselling. I invite you to try out the demo with your own data on my platform experiencedatascience.com and hopefully you have loved this video. If so, please do subscribe to the channel, please like and please comment and see you soon in another exciting demo video.